again. No questions? All right. Ever. What about my tail? Use that too. Your entire body is a weapon. Can't keep the goblins out forever. Wicked. This is no fortress, and we're no warriors. <laughs> Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting Any times. Questions, children? those slimy bastards. Fancy a bowl? Best to fill your belly now, while we still can. Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in El Torel. Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before El Torel fell into Avernus. These days, my talents are more eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days.
Good to be back behind the walls, have to say, for as long as that lasts. Don't make if me... If it ain't the fearless goblin slayer, you sure you want to be seen with me? I ain't exactly popular with this lot. Thanks, Mum. Now please do feck off. Yeah, you really saved the day. Swooping in and playing the hero. Now I'm gonna take the blame for leading the goblins here. And losing track of the bloody druid. Alson, he's a leader around these parts. Or was. We've got a contract to track down some relic. And he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out, though. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. <laughs> Job's all yours, if you got a death wish. There's a wizard in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back, if you feel like dying. Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. of blood, do you? Thought you'd have had your fill at the gate. Might be more blood spilled yet if Zevlor starts in on the lectures again. Oh, very gracious of you. We expected a soft job. Something to test the new lad, maybe, but not a bloody goblin nest. Most would have turned tail at the sight, but not Liam, no. He charged him, the stupid bastard. Nah, no. he must have thought we were following. Always the optimist was Liam. Hope they cut him down quick before he saw we were gone. Give him back, kid. Die. Goblins, druids, this grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. Those goblins will rule the day they chose to tangle with this grove. You and I will do some good here. I can feel it. Lee and Roland would never admit it, but they take an arrow for the other. Also stab each other. Not sure what will come first. Thanks for cutting in. There might have been more than words if you hadn't. Touch me and I'll bite your fingers off. I will... We should have left by now. Damnish! Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Staying is a mistake. You don't understand. My apprenticeship with Laroa can begin shortly. I cannot be late. Yes, that Laroa can. The greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate.
His name is known far and wide, I see. Few can match him in terms of raw power and talent. Until now, that is. In years to come, you will boast of this meeting, I can assure you. May we meet again in Baldur's Gate, my friend. Lady, let me show you something. Go on, take this ring. It's lucky. You haven't seen anything yet, lady. Go on, take the ring and watch your fortune change. Hard luck, lady. But like I said, we can change that. Watch. Call it. Heads or tails. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? You got it. One sec. That's what I got. Nothing cool. You suddenly feel something moving against your back and turn. You here to trade or? Yeah, I know. I was standing right here telling her to rob you. I am sorry. Sorry we're still talking about this. Look, you caught her. Good for you. You aren't a chump like everyone else around here. Now, do me a favor. Make room for the chumps. Spawn, and you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Ragrasham, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the Nine Hells than trust that snake! Ugh. Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. 
I need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wished the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. Breaking into druid chambers to steal a sacred relic. Oh, she sounds like fun. Thank you. They won't give us the time of day. Hurry! I'm at the end of my tether as is. Can't take this waiting. Carl <laughs> Magrin, give her a chance. You, get back! and Magrim will tear you open like a sack of grain. Keep back! Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You! Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. The bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. I... Forgive me. It is not you I fear. It is my brethren. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid, and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees, and we will be safe. It searches for news of Master Halsen. Only he can set this right. If he is gone, well, pray that he is not. The ritual is Korga's decision, but she is not our leader. Master Halsen welcomes the refugees in. I wait for him to resolve this. Find our master. Return to me then. Tell me what you find. Tell only me. Understand? Fly safe. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. She's a parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it.
The words of the Tree Father. Spoken plain. It is as you say. Sifisif, Tila, to me. Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <laughs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin was- Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Positive. You can trust me on that. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Monster? Too kind. A demon, more like. Ah. You don't see a monster. You just look at me through one's eyes. You are like the devils. Where they tread, chaos follows. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the writers resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. I see you. Just give me a moment. A moment. This may be Catherine's. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole?
That's a serious condition. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. There's something in that. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Rather too common as of late. At least that's what Master Halson suspected. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. Please, don't mind me. I'll just watch. All right. Let's see what we can do. Of course. Now, tell me what's been happening. Any symptoms? Strange events? Protected from on high? Sounds like the drow. Master Halson said he was tougher than he had any right to be. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me. You'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort, in case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? But you have to. Don't you understand? You could kill us all. Then I've no choice. I'm sorry. Does that hurt? I know. I see you. Just give me a moment. A moment. There. Now. What was it you needed? I do come. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eye. A tadpole. I... Uh, I'll do what I come. We need to be quick. This way.
nothing in that vessel. Take a closer look. This one had the same problem as you. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Seems so. It's why he joined the adventurers. I pity you got me instead of him. You don't have to be here for this. No, I'll stay. I'd rather know exactly what you're up to. All right. Let's see what we can do. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Protected... How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was... A mind... Look. But you seem like a good... This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me. The thorn? I don't have a cure. I'm sorry for misleading. Now. Do I have your word or not? But you have to. Don't you understand? You could kill us all. Swear it. I hope it doesn't come to that. But thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Could be, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna, and I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. The thing is, I've sent birds to find him. But the place is rotten with goblins. None of us can even get close. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Take it one step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Wyvern poison. Never tried it, and I hope to keep it that way. Better a quick draft than Ceramorphosis. Looks like Halcyn's our best bet for a cure. Better than becoming a mind. Time to track him down and see what he knows. Assuming he's still alive. Oh, he's alive. And we're going to find him. <laughs> 